Yo, what's good, my people? Let me throw the hood on. You feel me? Feeling like Creed out here. But look, I am about to get in the trade. Like, look at this. So this is my TDI scanner. It lets me know the trades to get in. It let me know the direction to get in. So I'm going to go with EuroUSD because news just recently hit. So if I click on the M15, you see that green line is way outside that blue. So anytime this green line is outside this blue, I call it the shark out the water. Let me know, hey, the market is oversold. Time to get in for a buy. All right. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hop in on this phone because I like trading better on the phone so y'all can see. All right, so boom. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do a five standard lot. All right? So boom, first entry. Why? Because the market has been coming down too long. It's getting exhausted. has to turn around. Usually, if you trade news, um, I usually trade after news hits sometimes. Sometimes I trade before. If I just believe it's going to go in that direction, but I trade after news hit because once it already makes this big spike, especially CPI news or NFP, once it makes this big spike in one direction, the retrace be crazy on the way back up. So that's why I'm taking the buy here. Now, when it comes to Forex trading, the same way I trade binary options, I do a four entry rule. So my first entry was five standards. Why that big? Because I kind of just believe in this trade turning around. Um, my second entry, of course, another five, another five, another five. And the reason why I do it like that is because I can hold long term with Forex. Um, so I could just hold it. You know what I'm saying? And the market is so low that eventually it's going to have to turn, <clears throat> turn around. So that's what I'm looking at. <clears throat> now, if you ever, if you ever want to know how far the market, once you enter the trade and you ever want to know how far the market could potentially go down or go against you then know that the market goes from one zone to the next zone so if i go here let me show you if i go look this is a zone that it's at now all right because the market is currently right here right if you look to the left you see this zone right here that it just that is bouncing off of now this zone bounced here and went straight up so potentially that can happen again on the right side all right so if it passes this zone and continues to go against me, putting me in drawdown, then it's going to go to the next zone, which will be about right in here. And you might ask why right in there? Because we got one touch here and we got another touch there. So anytime the market touches in the area multiple times, that's a zone and the market only goes from zone to zone. So if it passes and breaks through one zone, it's going to go straight to the next zone and then try to bounce there and go up. And I'm only going to be placing buys because, again, the market is exhausted based off, you know, the uh, TDI. So you see the TDI on there, low. So that's what I'm looking for. Now, right now, I'm in drawdown about $100. Cool. I'm willing to risk about two grand. you know what I'm saying, to try to make this trade work out. So, again, if it continues to go against me, I'm trying to place my second entry as close to the next zone as possible. And, you know, from there, like I said, I hold a little while just to see. If I'll be holding it for too long and I ain't do what I need to do, then I might place another one. But for the most part, I'm believing that this trade is going to go up in my direction. All right. So, um, yeah. So that's basically what I'm basing it off of, y'all. It's an overall downtrend. Like I said, if you look on my computer, you can see the trend finder. It's saying that it's an overall downtrend. Meaning, if you ever see all arrows down, that means that the trend is down and that the market will go up. It may not go as far. So it may go up to a certain point and then turn around. So it's going to be what we call a pullback, meaning that the market. So the market just does this. All right. So the market, let's say it's down. It comes up, pulls back and then goes back up, pulls back, goes back up. Right. Or if it's a downtrend, vice versa, comes down, let me hear it, comes down, pulls back, comes down pulls back, goes down again. So in this instance, since it's a downtrend, we definitely may get a pullback, but then it may end up coming right, right back down. So, you know, we gotta be careful on that, but I'm looking, I'm more, mainly a scalper, meaning, you know, I just get in the market, they go and profit a decent amount, I scalp and get out of there. You know what I'm saying? I take the money and get out of there. But right now it's just looking like it's keep heading down. You know what I'm saying? So if you do, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and find my next zone, which is pretty much right here. So I'm gonna grab one of these horizontal lines, y'all, so y'all can see, visually see what I be doing. So I put a horizontal line there, 
So I'm trying to get it to pop up so y'all can see me edit that line. Whatever. All right, so the next potential zone that could hit is right here at the bottom. If it passed that zone, then I may have to get in a different, another trade, I mean, uh, another position. So right now, not so bad. But yeah, so I'm gonna let this play out and then uh, I'll let y'all know. Like I said, if it continue down, you'll see me enter another position and then hold until we get the profit that we're looking for, all right? So let's get it. Yo, so the market pretty much at that zone <clears throat> at that zone that I put. So I'm gonna go ahead and just double up right here. And then uh, I'm gonna let these three trades rock. I probably won't place no more just because of the free margin, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna let these trades rock and then I'll be back when this trade does what it needs to do. All right, you got to be confident in what you're putting in. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even do this if I wasn't confident in it, all right? So, let's get it. Yo, I know you see it. I know you see it. I know you see what the market is doing. Yo, I ain't got to say nothing else, bro. You see it. It's going right back to and through them zones that I already put up before that the market could potentially pass through. You hop in at the bottom and you eat, you did. So, since I know this won't be a long buy, not too long, it's gonna push, but I don't think the buy gonna be too long. So, I'm gonna take my $1,000 for the day, and we're good. Boom, that brings the count to nine bands. Stop playing with me in these markets, okay? Nah, but listen, y'all, so, Again, the reason why I got in this trade, I use my TDI scanner. This is literally what I do all the time. The TDI scanner is giving me the trades automatically. I don't even got to think about it. I come to the chart. The chart is blinking off the, look at it. It's just blinking everywhere. Get in the trade. That's what he's telling me. If I click on Euro USD, it's telling me it's sale time. We way up here. You know what I'm saying? I click on these, it's telling me it's buy time. And that's just what it's telling me. You know what I'm saying? And so from there, I analyze the chart and say, okay, do I agree with that? Yeah, I do. And then I hop in. Simple as that. Don't take too much time out your day. Like I said, I'm not trying to sell you on a product because honestly, you can get this TDI, just the, the TDI right here. You can get this right here uh, for free online. You can Google it, type in just TDI. The scanner you can't get for free because that's my particular product that I made. So you ain't gonna be able to find that. But just the TDI by itself, but you will have to come through each pair and look for it to be overbought or oversold in those areas. And um, yeah, but man, proof is in the pudding. This is how you could trade every single day and y'all watched it from scratch. So, I mean, what more do you want me to say? What kind of videos y'all want to make, man? You know what I'm saying? I can keep making more trading videos. I can just make all kind of, all kind of videos, but look, um, make sure y'all go subscribe to my Jeremy Cash TV. That's my vlog channel. And if you're interested in binary options as well, you go to Jcash Investments. That's another YouTube channel where I teach binary options. And if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, all that's below. Everything you need, I got y'all. Just let me know what y'all need in the comment section below, what kind of videos. And I'm, you know, y'all, I'm produced. I'm about to go in on this thing to make sure y'all eat because hard times is coming and I want y'all to be prepared for it. All right, I love y'all, Lord willing, I'll see y'all in another video. Peace.